95.1 was a BFM line. We just still there. So it remain just how many minutes? It remain just a 17 minutes. Make 12 o'clock stand. Uh, my name is Yo Y A W and the spelling of my name. And um, you're on a radio pressing. I I hold it down on the radio every day, 6 to 12 every day. Um, and it was a BFM. Steve Onu or Yo is one of Nigeria's most popular radio presenters. His Make Una Wake or Wake Up morning show on Wazobia FM brings listeners a mix of music, comical segments and news all done in Pidgin English at a time when most stations broadcast in standard English. We go enter the next bam bam dim dim. Mati Mati don't stand the chim to give us waiting day for news. No touch a dial. You know carry this talk we give all the people where they do medicine. You know. See me that they are careful. So that's all the medicine that they do inside our country, that they make sure say bad, bad chemical, no, they miss up. I think Nigerians, actually, we speak pidgin a lot. And a lot of people that are down there, we have more people down there that we have those up. Even young guys, too, we don't even make up. Most of them still not pidgin than they speak. So I think that's just the major reason. Oh. Uh, whether your marriage, they do you nyaga nyaga, you they feel somehow... Your marriage Nigerian pidgin mixes English with local wrong, languages no, no, like no, no, Igbo, no, no, Yoruba, no, no, and Hausa. Go. Fight it's widely spoken in the country when compared to English, like the country's official language. New words are often invented, so Yo has to keep updating his skills. After the show, he usually goes into meetings to review his programs. For now, me, I go soon walk come out here now. I don't disappear. As soon as they hear my voice, so I know they again. I know they hear again. So I'm going straight for the meeting. Meeting later. Later, later. Variations of pigeon are spoken all over West Africa and the Caribbean. It grew here in the 1900s when Nigeria was under British rule and English was introduced as the common language between over 500 others spoken here. In the past, the slang was generally thought to be a language for the uneducated, but many now see it as an important lingo. Many of the Lagosians we spoke to like to tune in to the Pigeon Radio Show. I enjoy him in fact, every morning. Once I just can wake up, I speak my carriage to the station and I can enjoy the, uh, the man. If I enter a hold up like that, I'll just put the radio because it makes me happy. Be nice. But well, we are the guy crack joke every morning like this. When well, they listen to your joke and talk, talk some things, where well, they happen for Lagos like this. Yao also doubles up as an actor and MC when free. Before joining the station in 2007, the theater arts graduate was a full time actor appearing in different TV shows and stage acts. He also produced and directed various plays. Jumi, we need to go to work. Oh, no. This city needs us. The city does not need us. Without us, the city is a mess. With us, the city is a mess. Don't give me that crap, man. As a highly respected station of Hey, road sleeper. <laughs> Back at home, Yao cooks dinner for his friend and colleague, Obina Odu, who's dropped by to help plan for the next show and answer emails from fans. Yao says this helps engaging issues that listeners would like to discuss. Yao has won various accolades for his contributions towards media and entertainment in Nigeria. Okay, this is the award for Ambassador for Peace, um, United Nations Youth Federation, so I am one of them. This one, a student of Lagos State University, best radio presenter. And this, Ijora Oluye Youth Association, best radio presenter. This for best TV comedian, TV actor. To mark his 34th birthday, Yo recently invited fans to make donations and visit a home for children with Down syndrome in Lagos. Yo grew up in the neighborhood and it was his way of giving back to society and raising awareness about the medical condition. The one thing that I have observed about him is his humility, but it, because in spite of his 
popularity, he is still very down to earth. And he reaches out down to everybody. And more especially, he identifies with the grassroots. Uh, and I think maybe that is why he's more popular in his radio program, because he reaches down to those people who other people do not reach down to. Yo wants to raise the profile of Nigeria's pigeon by getting more ordinary people to listen in and participate on the program. This way he can keep them better informed and entertained using a language that most people here easily understand.